Hi, and welcome to this short tutorial on how to use iMovie for the iPad. There is one other thing I wanted to show you, and that's how you can draw on um, a still image and bring it into your video. All right, so I'm going to actually leave iMovie because iMovie doesn't have any annotation capabilities, and I'm going to switch to a program called Sketch. Right, so I'm going to exit here as well and go into my Photos area. Because what I want to do is I need a picture from my video. So let me scroll down until I can find my video. All right, so I've gone into um, my camera roll. And what I'm going to tell, I'm going to, I can't show you how to do this. I'm just going to have to tell you how to do it. Um, because the program that I'm using to broadcast my iPad onto my computer is blocking my ability to show you this. You're going to open up the video that you took in your camera roll. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a screenshot of the picture that you want. So in this case, you're just going to come up here and move your finger back and forth until you find the image that you want. In this case, we're going to pretend that um, what you're seeing is right here in this area. Um, on your iPad, you should see it. Now, to take a screenshot, what you're going to do is at the same time, you are going to press this button here, your home button, and the power button that shows up at the very top here. And um, let's see, you're just going to click, and it's going to flash like that, and then it's going to save this picture into your camera roll. All right, so after you take that screenshot, this is what you should see. This is actually my screenshot. All right, so I'm going to leave my camera roll now. And we're going to go into a program called Skitch. It's S-K-I-T-C-H. Skitch is a free download. And all Skitch does is let you draw on things. I'm going to scroll up here to the top where we have our picture. I'm just going to tap on it. And now it brings my picture in. All right, so on this side, you'll see I have color. If I tap on that, I have lots of colors from which to choose. And these are pen sizes. Over here, if I tap on this, these are all my icons. So I can do text, arrows, squares, highlighter. These are little tags. And this will blur out someone's face. So if you're using somebody um, and this is going to go out on the web and you don't want their face to be out there, then all you have to do is put this little blur icon over their face. All right. Um, again, this only works on still images. I cannot use this to blur out um, on a video. Uh, the other thing that you might want to look at is because when you take a screenshot, it does take a picture of everything on the screen. So you have this crop tool, and this crop tool will let you cut out everything else that you don't want. Um, arrows, you can add an arrow. So if I wanted to put here to notice that, or if I wanted to use the line tool to to denote how straight it was. You can do something along those lines. So just lets you draw on things and like I said you can type text. Um, it does put this red around the or the white around the outside but you just tap on the A and that gets rid of that. You use this guy here in the bottom corner to make it larger or smaller and while you have it selected you can choose your different color. If you don't want it to be pink, you can choose green, you can choose whatever, and you can make it bigger, or bolder, rather. All right, so those are some very basic, basic tools that you can use in Sketch. And the goal is just to give you an opportunity to add a few little things to this final product. All right, when you're finished with your image, you're going to choose this icon in the upper right corner. This icon is going to let you share this back. We actually want to choose Save, which is the next one over. And we're going to save it to our Photos area. All right, tells me it's saved. And now I can leave Sketch. Go back into iMovie. And this time, I'm in Photos. I'm going to check up here to Photos. I'm going to choose All. Or you'll notice you also have now a new thing called Sketch, so you can choose that if you don't want to weed through everything. And this time I'm going to select this picture, and it's going to put it in for me. 
So now you'll see that I have this right here inserted before that. Now what if you wanted to insert that picture right here? What you would have to do is put your playhead there, select the video, hit the, pe the scissors, and hit split, and now tap on that picture to send it down. So now you have this and that. And then it goes back into the running again. All right, so some of these things you just have to play with a little bit to get comfortable with it, but I think that these tools are gonna help you get the final product that you would like to get.